was soft. Oh, no. Don't say something. Oh, oh, I told you to be careful. Now bring that needle to me. But Mommy, I'm not finished yet. Well, mm. all right. But watch what you're doing. Yeah, take it easy with that needle, you know. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, Margaret, look here. <laughs> Hey, this spotted squirrel looks like it might be a good lure. It's made of tin. Yeah, yeah, that we ought to cut a few bass with that. Oh, I think fish must be very stupid to bite at a piece of tin. <laughs> well, the way it's set up here, it looks very appetizing. I could eat it myself. Oh, <laughs> uh, the breeze... The breeze began to sigh. To sigh, that's it. Um, let's see, she, she stopped and looked. She stopped and smiled. No, stopped and looked. Ouch, I did it again. Uh, oh, oh, it's here. Let me yeah, you do that. You Okay, you do it, and I'll tell you how. Hmm. She stopped oh. and looked. Felt a thrill. No. What are you moping about? You haven't said a word all evening. Oh, I'm all right. She stopped <clears> and <throat> looked. And time stood still. Hey, that's terrific. Yeah, what? What is terrific, dear? Listen to this, Dad. Once upon a dream, a girl came walking by. The weeping willow smiled, the breeze began to sigh. She stopped and looked, and time stood still. Why, Sharon, that's very nice. My, my, is that all there is to it, just time is still? Well, no, but for the moment, I, I'm stuck. I've got to have a rhyme for uh, still. Rhyme oh, for still. That ought to be easy. Uh, still, uh... Mm -hmm. I know. Her name was Mary and his was Bill. <laughs> yeah, is that right? Oh, kids, cut it out. Ecstatic beauty on a hill. Mm -hmm. No, mm -mm. no. Try this. He was a dope and she was a pill. Yeah, that's the one. That's oh, talk. <laughs> See, not to break up the mood. After all, this is a poem of romance. Romance. <laughs> What's wrong with romance? Yeah, romance has been going on very successfully for generations, young fella, you know. So you had an argument with Mary Ann. Mm. No reason to be bitter. Bitter? Who's bitter? Just because she likes some guy with a red French convertible better than she does me. It's her hard luck. We like you better, Chuck. A lot better. Thanks. We got jilted. There's no reason to take it out in the whole family. Now, she's right, Chuck. You've been rather tough on us for the last few days, you know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be a limp sock. No. That's not right. Mm -hmm. Donald, uh, here, here. I'm going to go out in the kitchen where I can get some peace and quiet. Now, do it without well. interruption. Yeah, now, look, Red, you just come off the high horse, young lady. You know, we all live here in this little place. I know, Father, but I have to finish this in time to send it into the magazine. That doesn't make a bit of difference. Send what? You're not selling that that stuff. Well, certainly. To the Friday Morning Journal. Yeah. I've already sent in two. I'm sure they're by. And <laughs> if I get enough, why, I might even pay my expenses to college this fall. Well, oh. good. Who said poetry was impractical? Mm. But, um, aren't you just a little over-optimistic, dear? Mm. Well, I don't think so. But I've got to have peace so I can concentrate. Yeah. This atmosphere is not conducive to creative inspiration. Oh. 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 <laughs> uh, mm. This atmosphere is not conducive to create what did you say? What does she mean, Daddy? Well, yeah, I don't get it. Mm. Your sister has been bitten by the literary bug. Yeah, that's right. And you want to know where? Yeah, where it shows the most. That's right. Yeah. Look, yeah. I tell you, you kids better finish what you're doing now because I just looked at my time and it's almost time for bed, so beat okay. it. Okay. Huh? Okay. Oh, you know, Margaret, I'm going to tell you something. Now. I, 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 I think Sharon is getting altogether too wrapped up in this poetry business. I don't think it's good for her, really. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it, Charles. I used to write poetry when I was her age. Oh. I was in love with Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, remember how we used to spot poetry when we were going together, uh -huh, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see, remember, uh, nothing but shadows to share our mood. Memories of you to fill my solitude. Oh, brother. Yeah, huh? What? What was that? What did you uh, say? Nothing. Just reading my book, Dad. Oh, oh, oh. You remember that one, do you, Margaret? Oh, yes. I remember. Those were the two best lines in that poem. Yeah, they were. They were. Well, we got over it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I didn't know you want I will. No, it's a new kid. Hey, hey, hey. What is going on? Oh, hey, pipe down now. You're going to scare the customers away? You can both go. Go ahead, Zadora. I'm going to... No, but I'm serious about Sharon, dear, with his literary career. I, I hope she isn't going to make it her life's work or oh, something, you know. She'll get over it when the rejection slips start coming in. Yeah, I right. did. Yeah, that's right, too, by golly. <laughs> yeah, they, they'll take some wind out of her sails. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing more, there's much more to a literary career, you know, than to Best rattle off a few... Especially for Sharon, 
there goes. What, uh, what, what? Sign here, Daddy. The man's waiting. Well, Sharon, uh, there's a special delivery ladder for you. Uh, pardon me, you're not calling trains, dear, you know. You don't have to tell the neighborhood about it. I'll, there you are. All right, give it back to the man. That's fine. Okay. Uh, who, who's it from, Charles? Well, I don't know. The stamp up in the corner says the Friday morning journal, but it's uh, addressed in Sharon's own handwriting. Oh, well, that's the return self-addressed stamp envelope she included when she submitted her poem. Oh, I know. I mailed them for oh, you. Oh, well, oh, well, why the special delivery airmail? Mm. I guess she just couldn't wait to get the bad news. Yeah, I guess not. Well, who's in it, Daddy? Well, who, what Can is this? Stamp? Well, you oh, can't have the letter. Where, where's that, the letter? Give it to me. All right, all right. Take it Please. easy. All right, don't just control yourself. Oh, this check isn't exciting. Oh, now, check. darling, how do you know it's a check? It's oh. just possible that they didn't recognize the true masterpiece and they saw it. Oh, Chuck. <laughs> yeah, well, it may be a rejection slip. you got to get used to those things, you know, honey. What did I tell you? Look what it is. Don't tell me you got a check, Barbara. Oh, oh, well, read the letter, dear. What's read the letter. letter. Oh, the letter. The letter. The letter. <laughs> the letter. Amy? Yes. Uh, enclosed, please find $3 for your filler, the embers of spring. Well, what oh, is that? Yeah. Yeah. My God. Well, what? Please tell me. What is a filler? Uh, Father, that is the trade name for a poem. Oh. oh. And now, if you'll all please excuse me, I, I'm going up to meditate on the peaks of Parnassus and commune with Apollo and the muses. <clears throat> Don't fall off the roof, dear. What's the matter with Sharon? Is she going someplace? Going? If you ask me, she's already gone. That's right. <laughs> We'll be back in a moment with The Ruggles. Sharon, will you please come down here and get your breakfast? We've all finished with ours. Now, how are we, Mother? And dear. I told you last night, we had to clean house today. Sharon sick, Mom? No, but she's acting very peculiar. Yeah, well, that, that but what is the idea of bringing that in city? You're saying she's acting peculiar. By golly, she, ever since she got that $3 check, you know, she's really completely off her trolley. She's impossible. Yeah, yeah doesn't he? Doesn't work. Yeah, and speaking of work, grab yourself a dust rag, somebody, because, you know, we've all got to pitch in here. That silly goop she writes, Dad. It, it makes me sick, that gooey, sticky yeah. stuff. Well, I think your judgment is a little warped because of your feelings toward Mary Ann, don't you? We saw her in that red convertible again Chuck. with the yellow cap. Now, you children dust that table, will you please? It, it wouldn't be so tough. I, I could handle just some dope, but what kind of an argument are you going to use against a 21 jewel convertible? Mm. Oh, I give up. I'm through with women forever. You, no, well, confirmed bachelor. Is that right? I'm going to go down to the beach and forget about them. You, what, forget about women at the beach? <laughs> That's just like trying to forget about water by drowning yourself in it. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Yeah, no, what are you doing? Wait a minute, hold everything. This is a lovely vacuum cleaner. And also, there is a nice lawnmower out there, and the lawn needs mowing, too. Oh, Dad, have a heart, will you? Hmm? Every time that lawnmower goes around, it goes... Clippity clop, Mary Ann. Clippity clop, Mary Ann. Yeah, well, there's nothing like a two weeks' growth of devil grass to make you forget your troubles. So get at it. <laughs> Charles, what? will you please try to get Sharon down I here? I sure she will. Budge me. All right, I certainly will. Sharon, Sharon Ruggles, you come down here this instant. Oh, the wings of a thrush. I'll be down in a rush. On a, uh, well, make it a flash and get out the trash. Uh, yeah. it's coming, Father. It's your life. I can spot a little poetry myself, you know. With muscles. Yeah, with muscles is right. Yeah. The log is up to meet the sun. The bee is on the wing. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, and never mind the buzzing. I... My gosh. This has got to stop. Sharon, my goodness. What are you laid up for? <coughs> you look pretty. You look like a hula. Uh, <coughs> I'll ignore those mundane remarks. After all, one can't expect one's family to understand. Uh-huh. Well, get her. Now, wait a minute. Aren't you going a little bit overboard on this $3 check business? I told you you wouldn't understand, Father. No one ever has. A true poet must lead the life of a Spartan. Well, what has that awful get-up got to do with it? I am rejecting all worldly frills and concentrating on the spiritual, the intellectual. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, 
well, well. Well, my if God. you ask me, you're talking through your hat. I should think so. At last, I found my true calling. I shall be another Edna St. Vincent Millay. Mm -hmm. Another? Sis, if, if, if the first one looked like you, that was plenty, believe me, enough. Sharon, uh, will you please come down to earth? Yes, please come down to earth, and let's cut out all... Let's, we've had enough of this for the nonce. Now, let's start desecrating the dust, shall we? All right, Charles, uh, will you clean out the fireplace, yeah. please? Who, me, Harry? Yes, uh, sir, you. Well, I thought maybe Chuck could do that, dear. Oh, uh, me? Yeah. Dad, Sharon's always the one that's burning the papers, isn't it? Yeah, I know, but Sharon's got to help her mother. Now, I tell you, Margaret, I could do the marketing for you, honey, right now, and I could take the twins with me and get them out of your hair. Uh-huh. All right, it's uh, a good idea. I've got to do the breakfast dishes anyway. All right, kids, you heard that? Go out and get the shopping list from your mother. Go ahead, oh, go ahead. Oh, I'll meet you out front. Yeah. Yeah. Dad, what about the lawn? The lawn? Well, let me see the lawn. The lawn can wait. I tell you, you get at the fireplace. I don't think that thing will go clippity-clop, Mary Ann. Clippity go ahead, go ahead. Well, to suffer is a poet's fate. Suffer? What do you know about suffering? More than you realize. Yeah, well, I bet you never had your best girl wooed by a convertible. Well, hardly. The longing's after something lost. The spirit's yearning cry. The striving after better hopes. These things will never die. With overdrive and high dramatic. By Sarah Dowdney. And overhead valves and, and, and white walls. Why don't you fight back? With what? Roller skates? Marianne is entranced with windshield wipers that squirt and chrome hubcaps. No. I'm going out and get a box. To Mary Ann, your lips bring music to my ears. Your eyes I see uh, through misty tears. Your ears, uh, pink petals like a rose. And, uh, and cutest of all, your nubbed nose. Chew it. Oh. Yeah, sure is hot, isn't it, huh? Mm -hmm. Please sit down and rest a while, Dad. Yeah, I was coming to that. I thought you would. I know. that You just want to, you know, if we go back yeah. home, you'll put us to work again. I know. Okay, oh. all right. We'll sit down. Do my boy. Sit down. Okay, all right, all right. Sit down here and make yourself come. We'll wait about two minutes, and then we'll get on back home. Okay. I oh, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, please. It's quite all right, sir. Sit yourself there, now. Hey! Oh. <laughs> I know you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I'm afraid you... Porky! <laughs> Porky Reynolds! In well, the flesh! My own. And I do mean flesh! <laughs> well, 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 my old college boy! What do you know about you, boy? How did you... Who did you... Why did you... <laughs> uh, oh, uh, Porky, these are my kids. It's Donna and Donald. They're twins. Well, How do you do? glad to know Hi. you. <laughs> How are you? Charlie, you old son of a gun. <laughs> twins, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> you always were a lucky cuss. Well, of course, that's a matter of opinion, but well, I can't get over this, Porky. And seeing you here, uh, oh. um, how about you kids go out and see if you can't play with the squirrels for a couple of minutes, will you? I want to talk to Porky, okay, will you? Okay, that's good. That's fine. All right. Okay. Nice nuts. <laughs> okay. Excuse us, Mr. Porky. Oh. Yeah, excuse us. Uh, kids, Fine. the spice, the salt of the earth, mm. the pepper that brings to life its worth. The what? The salt and the pepper. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's pretty good, Porky. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what have you been doing? What have you been doing with yourself? Huh? Well, I can't tell you anything you probably don't already know. Well, I say you're you're looking all right, judging from a person uh, appearing. I can say that. For surprise you? you? Huh? Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, that graduating class did vote me the least likely to succeed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you used to play a lot of football. I remember. And that. poker. <laughs> poker. Mm. Your tips on the horses weren't too good, though, were they? Well, I never could get interested then in any other kind of books. <laughs> yeah, well, it looks like you're doing all right, judging from appearances. What are you doing now? You kidding? Well, no, I'm not. Uh, you honestly don't know? Well, why should I know? Oh, me, the fickle fable of fame. Well, uh, at the moment, I'm over at Bullock's. Yeah? Autographing my latest book for yeah. the uh, uh, fawning fair sex. Yeah, a book? <laughs> Your latest book? What do you mean? Uh, Trumpet in the Sun. Trumpet in the Sun? What, poems? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't kid me, boy. <laughs> 
No, sir, we have that book at home. That's written by a fellow by the name of, um, Warwick Dinard. Well? <laughs> well, well, what? Uh, didn't you ever have a pseudonym, uh, an alias, a pen name? You, you don't tell me that you... The one and only. <laughs> You're the fellow that writes that daily column, the muse of the masses and the... Pe- I do. <laughs> you... Well, what do you know about that? Well, by golly, this is really something, you know, Pork? <laughs> yeah, from a college gambler to a, to a poet. Well, if you <laughs> there's can... There's a twist, boy. <laughs> if there's a bigger gamble than writing poetry, I'll put in with you. <laughs> Guess that's the reason it always appealed to me. Hey, hey, you know something? By golly, I could use you. Use me? Yeah, yeah. I've got a little situation at our house, Porky, that I think it would take a real poet to iron out. Yes, sir. How's about coming out to dinner tonight, eh? Well, I can't make it for dinner, Charlie, oh. but I'll come out afterwards. I, I got a date with a roast at the Rotary. Oh, well, afterwards is <laughs> uh, okay. Tell me, what's the problem? Well, I tell you, yeah. Uh, our daughter Sharon, you know, thinks that she is a literary genius oh, all of a sudden. Oh. <laughs> and uh, uh, maybe if you would talk to her a little bit and sort of... Uh... Here now, I want you kids to be on your best behavior, you understand? What for? Yeah, we already met him. Oh. How do you like his books, Mother? Aren't his poems just wonderful? Yes, I like them very much. They're, they're so human and, and down to earth. Well, he, he writes aesthetic things, too, I'm sure. Oh, and to think Father actually knows Warwick Dinehart. I can't help it. I went to school with him. <laughs> oh, what is he like, Father? Who? Does he have long, wavy hair and, and black, piercing eyes and a faraway look? And... Mm, well, uh, um... He looks like a big... Uh, uh, like uh, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, children should be, you know... Well, he does. <coughs> If you don't mind, I'm leaving. I'm not in the mood. Oh, come on. I want you to meet Mr. Dinehart. But, Dad, I wouldn't be good company. Well, okay. Then come down later, will you? And just oh. snap out of it, boy. Ah, mood. Thy name is melancholy. Cast off thy chains and let's be jolly. Oh, that's very good, Sharon. Very good. Uh, uh, Father, hmm? do you think I could talk to Mr. Dinehart alone and sort of talk over the philosophical aspects of life? Well, now, I don't know if he wants to talk shop. You oh, might. Mm. I'm so thrilled. Huh. The meeting of two kindred souls. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, please. No, uh, May I? Welcome from Parnassus Shore. Welcome, friend, within our door. Well, <laughs> Parnassus is a mountain, young lady, where dwell the muses. There wasn't any water within miles. <laughs> oh, excuse me. We were expecting... Uh, Warwick Dinehart? Well... I'm Warwick Dinehart. Oh. Ah, come on in, Porky. <laughs> well, Charlie. Oh, oh boy, yeah. glad you got here. Glad you got here. Margaret, this is uh, Porky Re- uh, Warwick Dinehart. How do you do? Pleased yeah. to meet you, I'm sure. Yeah, and you know the twins, of course. Hi. Hello. Yeah, Donald, you take uh, Mr. Dinehart's hat, will you? And then I think maybe you kids better run along play somewhere. You know, we want to talk alone. But, Daddy, you know. we got all dressed oh, up. Oh, that's right. Yeah, indeed. so we could. Can... Well, I'll tell you, we'll let you know if he kicks a goal or something. Go ahead. (laughs) Thank you, Donald. (laughs) And uh, this is our daughter, Sharon, Mr. Warwick Dinehart. Oh, the new Elizabeth Barriott Browning. Well, I'm afraid I startled you, young lady. Uh, no, no, it's just that... You expected to meet a gentle fawn, and instead you meet a tough old stag, huh? <laughs> well, that's life for you. Uh, guess we might as well sit down, huh? Oh, yes, please yes. do. Uh, would you like some coffee? Uh, my favorite stimulant. I'll start some perky. Thank you, dear. Come on, sit over here, Porky. Fine, right, Charlie, fine. Right, sit down, Sharon. <clears throat> well, sir... Who are you going to bet on to play in the World Series, Charlie? The World Series? Oh, I don't know. I imagine Boston. I like Boston. The American uh-huh. League, of course. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Dinehart. What, what is your opinion of Byron? An egomaniac, Miss Ruggles. Uh, say, you know, I'd like to put a little bet on the White Sox. Ah, yeah. uh, oh, well, now, wait. The Yankees are up there, you know. Do you want to overlook well, that? Yes, but, but speaking of the <clears throat> Brownings, um, which of the two do you prefer, Robert or Elizabeth? They're both like broccoli to me. I can take them or leave them alone. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to put a little bet on Boston, Charlie? Uh, well, I'm not a betting man. Oh, I... conservative, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, son. Well, I can say the same for you, boy. <laughs> Still like to fish, though, don't you? Oh, sure. Once a fisherman, always a fisherman. That's what they say. <clears throat> say, what? why don't you take a day off and come out with me? Mm-hmm. Are the albacore beginning to run? Are they really? I hadn't kept up with it. Yeah, but, it's uh, fine. <clears throat> Uh, don't you feel well, Sharon? Hmm? Oh, oh, no. I have a slight headache, so if the, 
If you'll excuse me, I... I think I'll run upstairs and get an aspirin. Oh, sure, I'm uh, sorry. Yes, yes. Uh, come right back, won't you, dear? <clears throat> it uh, could be working. Hello? Oh, hi, Mary Ann. Oh, yes, he's here. Just, just a minute. Chuck, it's for you. Well, yeah. Who is it? Nice Answer it and find out. Vision is if you know how to do it, but I know a lot of equipment. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah, this is me. Huh? What's the matter? The convertible breakdown or something? Hmm? Are you kidding? What poem? Oh, 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 that poem. <laughs> yeah. Romantic, huh? Beautiful. What? Well, out of this world? <laughs> yeah? Well, uh, I didn't know I could write that good myself. <laughs> Will I? Well, I'm, I'm practically there. Uh, uh, now, now, look, uh, leave your door open. I, I don't want anything in my way. Oh, Mrs. I, I'll talk to you later. Uh, I'll see you folks later. Goodbye. Uh, yippee! What? Who? Who? You've got it all wrong, Charlie. When it comes to real wrestling technique, Baron Leone has it all over, gorgeous oh, George. Now, wait a minute. The Baron is a good wrestler, but... Oh, yeah, Charlie, yeah. why, the Baron could blow gorgeous over with one good breath. <laughs> Isn't that right, Margaret? Oh, uh, I don't know. They, they, they both seem pretty silly to me. Oh, uh, my God, don't say If you'll excuse me, I, I want to go upstairs and see if the twins are in bed. Oh, oh, wait uh, a minute, Margaret. I've got to run anyway. Oh, no, wait a minute. Don't go, don't go, Porky. Yeah, my goodness, you really haven't had a chance to talk to Sharon. I'll see if she's feeling better. Well, I get it down. Uh, sorry, Charlie, but I go to bed early, and tomorrow's a big day. Oh. I'm going to say a fast good night and run along. Now you're making me feel as though I've broken up the party. Oh, you're a charming hostess, <laughs> and I might add a very patient one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, Charlie, I, I think I had a hat around here oh, somewhere. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it for you. Now, I want you to promise us that you'll come to see us very soon again. Well, I'm leaving for San Francisco tomorrow night, oh. but the next time I'm in town, I promise you I'll be here and tell the daughter. Yeah, yeah. here you are, Porky. We're awfully glad. What? Sharon, um, are you feeling better, dear? Much better, thank you. Are you leaving so soon, Mr. Dinehart? Say, now, that's more like it. Now you look human and very lovely. <laughs> thank you. If I do, you're responsible for it. Oh, well, good for me. What did I do? Well, frankly, you just knocked all the glamour out of the writing profession, mm -hmm. that's all. I'm a working poet, Miss Ruggles. It's my trade. Sometimes I'd gladly exchange places with a, with a bricklayer. <laughs> well, you certainly knocked me off my pink cloud with a thud. <clears throat> well, it's a bit disillusioning now, perhaps, but... Someday you'll thank me. Yeah, uh, her father and her mother thank you now, Porky. <laughs> Here's your uh, hat. <laughs> thank you, Charlie. If you want to have a literary career, Sharon, that's fine. But you'll have to face a long apprenticeship. It's hard work, and, well, one sale isn't a career, you know. I'm, I'm not so sure it wasn't just a romantic dream. <laughs> well, you've got plenty of time to decide. <laughs> uh, so long. Well, hello, everybody. Aha, Mr. Dinehart, I presume. I'm Chuck. Well, how are you, Chuck? I got a peep at you a while ago as you whizzed through the room here. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry about that, Mr. Dinehart, but I had a very urgent matter to attend to. Oh. Very urgent. Oh. <laughs> There's a woman mixed up in this somewhere. How did he know? <laughs> Why, it shows, my boy. It always shows. Yeah, well, well, Charlie. So long, good night, Margaret. Glad you came good, good night. Well, good, good luck, everybody. Good night. Yeah. Well, you look pretty happy, young fellow. What's cooked with you, all right? I'm top man on her totem pole, Sharon. Uh, Sharon. Sharon. She has opened my eyes to the powers of iambic pentameter. Yes, she Well, get him, will you, my brother? She's opened what? What was that? The powers of what? You asked Chuck. Well, I certainly will. I certainly will. What is this, Chuck? Huh? What? Well, what is I... what? Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, not you. Chuck, what do you think you're doing? Composing a poem to Marianne. Yes. Now, wait a minute. Now, what brought this on? Well, you see, she, she wrote a poem and, and signed it and sent it to, uh, to Marianne. Yeah. With my name signed to it. Sharon did. And it worked. Uh -huh. So, now in her eyes, I'm a genius. And I got to live up to my reputation. Here we go <clears throat> again. Oh, Maybe you can help me, sis. I'm stuck here. Listen to this. <clears throat> Nature is a wonderful thing. She makes the snakes and lovely bees that sting. She gave the lovely rose its thorn... And, and that's where I'm stuck. I need a, something to rhyme with thorn. Well, how about um, 
mourn, shorn, or torn. How about sworn, scorn, or forlorn? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll fix this up. What is that last thing you're ending with, thorn? Uh, she gave the lovely rose its thorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she gave the lovely rose its thorn and the poet all his corn. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Let's put out the cat and go to bed, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.